Hello. So, it's become obvious to me, after living here for a while, that skinship is an integral part of bonding and friendship in South Korea. So, what the hell is skinship? Well, this word originated in Japan, and it's a combination of the two English words skin and friendship, or probably more likely relationship. Um, initially, it was used to describe the bonding through touch that happens between a mother and a child, more recently, it tends to mean, in Korea and Japan, um, any bonding that happens, usually by friends or maybe even by family, uh, through touch. Um, through touch that uh, improves the relationship, not makes it worse. Um, Given that this is a widespread and deeply culturally rooted concept, it's not too uncommon to see two friends uh, engaged in some sort of touch in public. So, initially upon seeing this, this was a little bit of a strange concept to me, uh, especially coming from Canada where any sort of intimate touching uh, is reserved for romantic relationships other than the occasional hug between friends. Um, so some examples of skinship that I've seen in Korea. Um, my students, when they're tired, kind of lay their head on one another and fall asleep. Um, it's not uncommon to see people playing with each other's hair or the strangest or most interesting to me would be seeing older men or older women walking down the street at night, holding hands, um, usually, well, a bit intoxicated. Um, so, from a foreigner's mindset, we look at these people, and I've heard people, other teachers, other foreigners in Korea, express this sentiment that they thought they saw a gay couple or a lesbian couple walking down the street, but it, in fact, is just skinship. They're just friends engaged in some bonding through touch. Um, so I guess it was surprising to me not so much to see the female students of mine touching because between friends in Canada, female friends in Canada, I don't think it's too uncommon to see touching happen. But what was stranger to me was to see males, specifically teenage males and adult males, engaged in forms of platonic touch. Um, so in North America, uh, it's pretty uncommon for males to publicly show emotion as it's seen as unmanly, and it's even less common to see males uh, engaged in any sort of touch unless they're in some sort of physical altercation or fighting. Um, I believe that one of the causes for this lack of platonic touch between males um, is a result of homophobia in, uh, in North America. Um, men don't really want to appear gay, so they avoid showing any intimacy between other males. And I think this is a little sad, as um, touching, casual touching, has been shown to uh, play a role in the release of oxytocin, which is known as the love hormone, which uh, increases bonding between people. Um, and also studies have shown that if somebody engages in casual touch with us, we tend to feel more familiar, more trust and share more empathy with this person. Um, so it's a little tragic that men in North America have been robbed of this bonding process, um, this outlet, I guess. Um, so by this logic, if the lack of touching is caused by homophobia, at least in part, then South Korea must be this utopia free from homophobia, right? Not really. Not really at all. Um, it doesn't seem to me that homosexuality has had the same mainstream media attention that it's gotten in North America. Um, in fact, during the protests this summer, of both the Queer Film Festival and the Gay Pride Parade in Seoul, um, a common sentiment coming from many of the protesters was that homosexuality was kind of an affliction brought to Korea by foreigners. Um, so anyways, I think that homophobia has manifested itself in different ways 
in South Korea. However, one of my Korean friends has explained to me or told me that um, the prevalence or the existence of skinship between males has dramatically decreased over the past few decades. Um, and while this is only the casual observations of one individual, um, perhaps it's an indicator of a similar phenomenon occurring in South Korea where male friends are robbed of casual, friendly, bonding touch uh, for fear of being accused of something they're not, or even worse, I guess, being found out. Um, I hope not, because that's unfortunate. Um, so my conclusion about skinship is that it's pretty great. Um, recently I've seen friends sharing uh, an image on Facebook that says that um, it's skim similar, <laughs> similar concept to skinship, uh, saying that we should break down the physical barriers between friends and engage in casual touch, intimate gestures of physical touch with our friends in order to challenge this dominant Western ideology that intimate touching is reserved only for couples. We should be closer to our friends. We should feel that bonding relationship. Um, so I think this is a great idea. So next time when you see your friends, I don't know, pat them on the head, casually stroke their arm hair or arm hairlessness, um, lick their face, I don't know. Dogs do it and they seem pretty damn happy. So I say, go for it. Engage in physical touch. Yes. Thank you for watching.